What's up, fellow comic book collectors? Welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, we have a fantastic book for you today. The Death of Superman. And you are looking at the being, the alien, or the villain, whatever you want to call this creature. Well, we'll call him by his name. Doomsday. We're looking at a collection of books combined in this graphic novel that came out in 1993, the Death of Superman series, uh, that simply stood the comic book world on its head, turned upside down. The Death of Superman one of the most iconic superheroes of all time. Um, how could a being as powerful as Superman succumb to death? And who was powerful enough after decades and decades of fighting villains, super villains, who was powerful enough to put the DC universe on notice by serving Superman the ultimate defeat? A being so violent and so powerful, so so unorthodox and so cruel. Ladies and gentlemen, collectors around the world, we introduce Doomsday. This was a book that I had mixed emotions and feelings about, as I'm sure a lot of you guys did. The collecting community definitely did. Uh, you're killing off one of the most beloved action, action superhero characters of all time. Everything from uh, TV serials to box office smash movies. Superman has done it all from comic books to action figures. You name it. Board games. He didn't get any more universally recognized than Superman. You just didn't. You, you didn't get any more recognized than Superman. And when this book came out, we didn't quite know who and how it would play out. Um, you had lines of people around the block at comic book stores waiting to pick this book up. Waiting to see how this would play out. It captured the imagination from 1992 to 1993. This book, this storyline, captured the imagination of the entire planet. CNN, um, everything from CNN to ESPN to all types of news outlets and media outlets was covering 
this book, this story. A lot of people thought DC was doing this for um, for money. They wanted to reinvent Superman, but to reinvent him, some people felt they had to destroy him. Which wasn't going to be easy with the public. Guys, if you're just joining us, welcome to the MIB Master Toy Museum. This is uh, part one, um, because this is such a massive book. Part one. The Death of Superman. Superman, to me, like I said, he's one of my absolute favorite superheroes of all time. So, to kill him off, I had, you know, like I said, I, I really had mixed emotions. And I just didn't see how they would do it and who they would use, or, or to, use to do it. We still don't quite have knowledge of doomsday yet in this comic book right here we don't know who he is we can see uh parts of doomsday he's covered up pretty good um you could say this is some type of obviously he's a prisoner of some kind But he doesn't look like an immediate threat or a lethal threat to Superman. He just doesn't look, he doesn't appear that way. And the book and the storyline does a fantastic job at kind of building it very slowly. Very slowly. Until it comes to a crescendo. I'm using big words, guys. A crescendo. <laughs> we know he's powerful, as you can see, what he's doing to this uh, this truck. He's destructive without question. But you, you bought these books issue after issue and you're trying to make sense of the story. And, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, collectors from all across the world, believe me when I say this, it was difficult uh, waiting month from month to purchase these books. And I, I was one of them, guys. I was one of them. Where were you in 1992 when Superman died? And I'll tell you precisely where I was at. I was standing in line at the my local comic book store shop outside in line with everybody else waiting to get the next issue to figure out what was happening. Blue Beetle. You have a lot of uh, fantastic superheroes. Uh, Booster Gold. And they're just getting wind of this situation. They're, they're seeing the, some of the carnage and destruction in the wake of Doomsday. So they're trying to make sense of it. Guys, what do you think about our Superman, the death of Superman? How did you feel about that? How did you feel about Doomsday? What's your thoughts about this creature that right now is roaming the countryside and laying waste, absolute waste and destruction
every to everything in its path. I mean, absolute carnage, devastation. This is look like it's Blue Beetle's uh, ship. It's gotten Doomsday's attention. Just the sheer power. Guys, we want to cover as much as we can in part one. We want to we want to leave you wanting more. Complete destruction. Guy Gardner. Blue Beetle. Booster Gold. So we're, I think we're coming up to our first battle, our first engagement with DC superheroes and Doomsday. Because it's obvious there's nothing else that's remotely going to stop this creature. My brother, uh, one of my oldest brothers, Will, famously said, and I absolutely concur, I, uh, I agree with him a thousand percent, we want to know what you believe, uh, what's your take on what my bro big brother said. He said, he gave Doomsday the ultimate compliment. He said, Doomsday could be a Marvel Universe villain. I did him one better and see what you guys think. There's Guy Gardner going after Doomsday. I did him one I did him one better. I said not only could Doomsday exist in the in, in the Marvel universe, Doomsday is powerful enough to put the Marvel universe characters and heroes and villains on notice. And that, but mind you, that's after, look at the devastation. He's, look what he just did to Guy Gardner. This is brutality at a whole another level. Guy Gardner has absolutely no chance. And he's saying this so fast. I didn't even see him mope. And that's just complete, utter devastation. Guy Gartner's out of it, guys. He's down for the count. All the while, Superman's interview, <laughs> no clue. Everybody's hitting Doomsday with everything they have.
I mean, what do you do? And the fear and acknowledgement that this is a creature that simply won't be stopped, can't be stopped. Absolute domination in the first part of these uh, comic books. Doomsday is doing this literally with one hand tied behind his back. I call upon all of my comic book brethren to make sense of this. What is your opinion? on the death of Superman. What is your opinion on a creature as powerful and destructive and as cruel as Doomsday? Comment in the comment section, guys. This is absolutely devastating and we're bringing this destruction we're bringing this back from so many years right here at the MIB Master Toy Museum this is not even a contest this is not a battle this is a massacre uh, this is complete domination. At the highest level. Superman has just gotten word. That there is trouble in Ohio. Booster Gold is going to give it a go. And Superman is on his way. Booster Gold. Good thing he he got his force field up just in time. Here comes Superman. That was the Justice League. Guys, the Man of Steel. And when I saw this part right here in the comic book, I jumped up and I said, let's go. Now we got to fight. Now we got to fight. Booster Gold's giving Superman the information. And we will leave it right there for our second part of the death of Superman. You know the routine, guys. God bless. And keep.